It's a very good question. So um, the acute hepatitis is treated very differently from chronic hepatitis. For the first part, um, acute hepatitis C is typically diagnosed um, only when patients have symptoms. So someone may develop uh, almost like a flu-like illness. They may have some nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain. Um, they may uh, notice uh, yellowing of their eyes, so jaundice or, or scleral icterus. Um, and then they'll get uh, a workup that shows uh, elevation in their liver enzymes um, and then um, may uh, show hepatitis C um, uh, RNA or, or antibody. So uh, as, uh, since about 50, anywhere from 15 to 30 percent of patients who, have, um, expo who are exposed or infected with hepatitis C can actually go on to spontaneously clear it themselves. Um, most of the time we don't treat acute hepatitis C. Um, we'll just watch uh, over a six-month period to see if chronic infection establish is established. Um, and then if, um, if they are go on to establish chronic infection, at that time we could consider treatment options. So, so for the most part, unless a patient has a significant liver uh, failure from the hep acute infection, um, they're typically managed with supportive care um, and observation to see if they'll go on to clear the infection on their own. Uh, in my own practice, what I notice is that most of the time, hepatitis, acute hepatitis C is asymptomatic, so we really don't actually capture these patients in, in this period. And they don't come to our, to our attention until they've had chronic infection established.